Hi and welcome students. In this video I'll be covering Publisher 2016 and I'm going to show you how to create a watermark. Let's get started. So you'll see that I have a publication open right now called Rocket Road Drag Racing. And so I want to put a logo into the background of this page. In this case it's drag racing so it's going to be an image of a wheel that has a flame on it. And so if I want that to be my background image, okay, I want to do that on what's called the master page. And the master page can be accessed in Publisher um, for adding things like watermarks, which again are are a semi-transparent image that appears in the background of your publications. And so lots of companies put logos in the back here, or if you have a draft copy of something and you want everyone to know it's a draft, you could put tra uh, the word draft in a transparent image across the back um, of the master page so that it appears on all of the pages within your publication. The way that we do that is we have to first access the master page. So I'm going to go to the View tab and I'm going to go to the views group and right here's the button for master page okay and it says open the master page view to edit the design and layout of your master pages so I'm going to click right there and you'll see that I'm now in the master page I could tell because there's a master page tab right up here as well as the scratch area looks more of a beige instead of the usual gray so anything that I add into this area now is going to add into the background of all of the pages of my publication. So I'm going to add in an image from here. And so if I go to the insert tab, an illustration group, and I'm going to choose pictures, I could then see the image that I'm looking for. So I'm going to click that image right there and I'll insert it onto my document. Now, first thing that I want to do here is I want to think about how this image will look on my regular document. If I were to just uh, kind of move out of the master page here by pressing Control M as in master on my keyboard you'll see that it takes me back to my regular view okay my normal view and you'll see that that image is very dark on the page if I had any sort of dark text go over this it wouldn't really work because it would blend in too much with that image in the background so the first thing that I'm gonna do whenever I insert an image into the master page and again I'm gonna press control M to go back into the master page is I want to make that image transparent. Again, the definition of a watermark is a se semi-transparent image, and so I want to make sure that that image, most of the color is gone from it. That way, if I use any dark text over it, you'll still be able to read the text. So the way that I'll do that is I'll first click the image, and then right-click the image, and I'm going to go right here to Format Picture, and it'll take you to the Format Picture dialog box, and you'll be in this tab right here for Picture, and if you look in this group that says Transparency, I can then increase this transparency to basically decrease the color on the page or on that image rather. I'm going to change it to 95 in this case to get rid of 95% of the color. And if I click OK, you'll see that the image is now very, very light. So if I were to put any color text over this at this point, I'll pretty much be able to read it. I want this to take up a lot of that center section on the page, so I'm going to expand each side to the margin and you'll see right there, wow, that looks pretty good. And so let's go to Control M to see how it looks. And there's the um, watermark in the background of the page. So it's very important to make your watermark images transparent so that you can make sure that the text and any other images that you put over it will be easily seen. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comment section. Have a great day.